Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. A warm welcome to St George's Anglican Church Paris on this feast of Corpus et Sanguis Christi, the body and blood of Jesus, where we give thanks to God for the gift of the Eucharist, where we give thanks to God for uh, the life of the vine of which we are the branches as we prepare ourselves to celebrate this mystery wherever we are, united um, in the body of Christ but divided by time and space, let us uh, prepare ourselves then by calling to mind our sins. Whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner eats and drinks judgment upon themselves. So therefore let us examine ourselves, calling to mind our sins and drawing close to the throne of grace. God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. pray the prayer for today. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you that in this wonderful sacrament you have given us the memorial of your passion. Grant us so to reverence the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may know within ourselves and show forth in our lives the fruits of your redemption. For you are alive and reign with the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and for ever. Amen. Lecture du livre de la Genèse Melchizedek, roi de Salem, fit apporter du pain et du vin. Il était prêtre du Très-Haut. Il le bénit en disant « Béni soit Abraham par le Dieu Très-Haut, qui a créé le ciel et la terre. Et béni soit le Dieu Très-Haut, qui a livré tes ennemis entre tes mains. » Et Abraham lui donna le dixième de tout ce qu'il avait pris. I believed and therefore will I speak, but I was so troubled. I said in my haste, all men are liars. What reward shall I give unto the Lord? For all the benefits that he hath done unto me. I will receive the cup of salvation and 
voice of thanksgiving, and will call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows unto the Lord in the sight of all his people. In the courts of the Lord's house, even in the midst of the reading is from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 11. I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took a loaf of bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Alleluia, alleluia. says the Lord. Whoever eats of this bread will live forever. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and also with you. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the, to the Jews, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats of this bread will live forever, and the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. The Jews then disputed among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? So Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Those who eat of my flesh and drink my blood have eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood abide in me, and I in them. Just as the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so whoever eats me will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Not like that which your ancestors ate and they died, but the one who eats this bread will live forever. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. We are the body of Christ. In the one spirit we were all baptised into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes for peace and builds up our common life. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. So
The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is indeed right and good, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks and praise. Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ, our great High Priest. He offered himself to you as the Lamb without blemish, the acceptable gift that gives you perfect praise. At the Last Supper, seated with his apostles, he left this memorial of his passion to bring us its saving power until the end of time. In this great sacrament you feed your people and strengthen them in holiness, so that throughout the world the human family may be enlightened by one faith and drawn together in one communion of love. We come to this foretaste of your heavenly banquet to be transformed by your grace and restored in the image and likeness of the risen Christ. Therefore earth unites with heaven to sing a new song of praise. We too join with angels and archangels as they proclaim your glory without end. Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you, do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen, Christ will come again. And so Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we in the company of Mary, Virgin Mother of God, George, Genevieve and all the saints may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour has taught us, then, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread.
Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. Let us pray. All praise to you, our God and Father, for you have fed us with the bread of heaven and quenched our thirst from the true vine. Hear our prayer that, being grafted into Christ, we may grow together in unity and feast with him in his kingdom, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. May Christ, who has nourished us with himself the living bread, make you one in praise and love and raise you up at the last day. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. The Mass has ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Amen.